Hello everyone, welcome to Summarize and Memorize. We will be doing question 8 to 10 of graded assignment 2 maths. So in question number 8 to 10, it's a comprehension type. The coordinates of ABC are shown in figure. Suppose the slope of L2 is 1 and T is the intersection of L1 and L2. Now I need to find out the coordinates of T. Equation of line L1, equation of line L1 and L2 and figure out whether they are perpendicular or not. And then the area of a triangle ABC. Let's do each of the option one by one. Now since I have been given that the slope of L2 is 1 plus D lies on the Y axis. Therefore the X coordinate will be 0. So D ka point mein kya lik sakti hu? That is 0 comma Y. Now I have one point on L2 that is D and another point is P. Now I will be writing the slope using these two points that will be y minus 1 upon 0 minus of minus 5. And that slope need to be equal to 1. From this equation I will get the value of y or the y coordinate of D and that is 6. So from here, I got the coordinates of D and that is 0 comma Y. So first thing, now option A gets rejected because it has 0 comma 5 the away and the correct answer is 0 comma 6. Now let's find out the equation of line L1. Now look, L1 line pe two point hai. Ek D hai, that is 0 comma 6 and ek C hai, that is 3 comma 1. Now using the two point form, I will find out the value of line L1 and that is 5x plus 3y minus 18 equal to 0. Now let's ch check the option. It is 3y plus 5x minus 18 equal to 0. So yeah, option B is correct because this is the exactly same equation which we obtained. Now let's figure out line L2, Y because I need to comment on perpendicular. And for perpendicular, I need the slopes of both the lines. And slope kaha se milegi? Equation se milegi. To L1 ki equation kya hogi? Uh, I mean L1 ki slope kya hogi? That will be minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y. Now already two videos are uploaded on this channel and in each video I have told you whenever we have a linear equation in two variable in a format ax plus by plus c equal to zero slope is directly written as minus of coefficient of x upon coefficient of y so l1 ka coefficient kya jaga minus 5 upon 3 ab l2 upon ne line nikali equation ab L2 apni line kaha gai ye wali hai. It has two point. One point is D that is 0 comma 6 and one point is P that is minus 1 5 comma 1. Two point form lagao and you will obtain the equation that is x minus y plus 6. Ab is miss slope kya ki that is minus of 1 upon minus 1 that is 1. 45 degree. Dono slope ko jab multiply karungi, this won't be equal to minus 1, therefore they are not perpendicular. So option C gets rejected. Now in last option, I need to calculate the area of a triangle. Ab area ya to ab Heron's formula se nikal lo, kyunki hume tino ke coordinate pata hai, ya fir half into base into height nikal lo. But if ke liye mujhe base or height calculate karni padegi, what will be my perpendicular height? It will be the coordinate of a, that is y coordinate of a minus the coordinate of c that is 1 देखो ये पूरी की पूरी लाइन 9 की है और इतनी लाइन की जो हाइट है that is 1 बट मुझे सिर्फ इतने वाले की चाहिए so that will be 9 minus 1 so मेरा हाइट क्यों हो जाएगा that will be 8 similarly मेरी बेस क्यों हो जाएगी देखो यहां से लेकर यहां तक it is 5 अगर सिर्फ और सिर्फ मैं डिस्टेंस की बात कर रही हूँ, तो मैं नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव नहीं लूँगी। एंड अगर मैं ओरिजिन से सी पॉइंट तक की बात कर रही हूँ, तो वो तीन दूर है, एक्स एक्सिस से, राइट? सो द टोटल बेस विल बी फाइव प्लस थ्री, दैट इस एट। तो अपनी हाइट एट है, बेस हाइट है, दोनों को फॉर्मूला now let's move towards the 9 question. 
In this question, I need to find out the ratio of the area of triangle ABC and DBC. अभी मेरे को triangle का area निकालना है या तो दोनों triangle का area Hirol's formula से निकालो and value put कर दो easier and less calculative method is half into base into height use कर लो देखो ABC and BDC दोनों का base same है तो base and base gets cancelled out half and half gets cancelled out so area ABC upon area BC DBC will be equal to height of A upon height of D तो ये बड़े वाले ट्राइंगल का हाइट अपॉन छोटे वाले ट्राइंगल का हाइट विल बी दी फाइनल आंसर बड़े वाले ट्राइंगल का हाइट क्या हो जाएगा नाइन माइनस वन छोटे वाले का क्या हो जाएगा सिक्स माइनस वन दैट इज फाइव सो द फाइनल आंसर इज एट अपॉन फाइव विच इज नथिंग वन पॉइंट सिक्स लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ आर असाइनमेंट टू नो कंसिडर अ न्यू लाइन एल थ्री दैट इज पासिंग थ्रू अ पॉइंट ए एंड इज पैरल टू एक्स एक्सेस so this is the red red line L3 which I have drawn. अब इसमें point A मुझे दिया हुआ है zero comma nine and since this is parallel to the x-axis मेरा y coordinate constant होगा जो कि मैं A point से बता सकती हूँ that will be equal to nine. so y equal to nine will be the equation of L3. since I know the equations of all the three line L1 और L2 की अपन ने question number eight में निकाल ली थी I can get the intersection point P and Q very easily. L1 में y की value 9 डालो, आपको x coordinate मिल जाएगा। L2 में y की value 9 डालो, आपको x coordinate मिल जाएगा। So P will be minus 9 by 5 comma 9, Q will be 3 comma 9. Now I need to find the area of P, Q, D. या तो वही आपको तीनों point पता है Hirons formula. Simple method. Calculate the height and the base and put the formula uh, values into the formula. So height kya ho jayegi? 9 minus 6 that is 3. So my height to gayi 3. And what will be my base? X coordinate of P plus X coordinate of Q that will be the base. Correct? So base nikal liya, height nikal li, dono ki values put karo. You will find the area as 7.2 units square. So that's all in this video. If you learned anything new and like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any doubts or suggestions, you can freely comment down below.